Hello everybody, Collier Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. I want to touch base with everybody. We are getting more and more issues cropping up uh, by buyers and sellers when we're getting closer to closing. Uh, not only by our clients, but by other clients we're involved with by way of transaction uh, with buyer beware. Alabama's really the last modified buyer beware state. And Every other state has a lot of seller disclosure laws uh, that have been put in place, and Alabama is not. And uh, from what I understand, uh, the legislature has no intention of uh, overturning any of this laws related to buyer beware. And I actually think it's a good thing. I think a buyer should do all their due diligence. Uh, now, I do believe that the seller should be responsible for telling anybody any latent defects or anything that's of material in terms of uh, health and safety issues uh, related to the house. But as we stand now, it's buyer beware. Uh, they must tell you, like I say, about latent defects like they currently do. If you have an unexploded bomb in the backyard, they need to tell you. If there's a uh, sinkhole in the house, they need to. They have to tell you. I should say. Uh, but I guess more to my point is that if you're a buyer out there and you are relying uh, on a friend as a home inspector or whatever, uh, that's crazy. You need to have a certified licensed home inspector perform your home inspection. And then if there's anything specific that crops up in that home inspection that you're concerned about that might be, is there Chinese drywall in this house? and you're suspicious that there may be, you need to make sure you get a certified drywall inspector out there. You need to, if you suspect there's mold, make sure you get a mold inspector out there. You know, you're in demand that of your realtor. Say, hey, do you think, uh, do you, do you think that this is what I should do? Uh, and I think your realtor should, the response you should get from your realtor should be, if you think there's something wrong, you need to get it inspected. Because in Alabama, it's too late. Uh, once you buy the house, uh, to come back and say, well, I didn't know when you had every opportunity to get something inspected. We're seeing it more and more where people are getting upset when they buy a house and they don't understand that uh, because we're a 100% buyer beware state, that the courts and uh, really any of the governing bodies related to real estate, whether it be the Real Estate Commission or the Alabama Association of Realtors, they all understand that it's a uh, state where the, all the burden is put right directly on buyers. So make sure that uh, when you have a specific concern that you have an inspector of some kind that's specifically licensed or certified in that particular area. Just my thoughts on a few things that is cropping up uh, related to buyer beware in Alabama, or better known as caveat M tour. Anyway, uh, if you got questions about this, email me, collier at megaagentrealestate.com. Have an awesome day.